In this module, we will discuss the bleed air system. We'll begin with an overview, followed by APU bleed air, engine bleed air, bleed air ducts, and non-normal operation. Let's begin with a brief overview. The air system provides pressurized air for engine start, thrust reverser operation, being in the cell anti-icing, air conditioning and pressurization, aft cargo heat, leading edge flap operation, air driven hydraulic demand pumps, and lower cargo smoke detection. There are three sources of bleed air, ground source, APU, and engines. Bleed air from a ground source may be used to pressurize the bleed air system. Connectors are located on the fuselage. Controls and indicators for the bleed air system are located on the overhead panel. The bleed air system panel is laid out schematically to represent the bleed air system. We will now discuss APU bleed air. APU bleed air may be used on the ground or in flight. A check valve prevents backflow of bleed air from the duct to the APU. APU bleed air is available up to a maximum of 15,000 feet. Pushing the APU bleed air switch on allows system logic to open the APU bleed air isolation valve and pressurizes the bleed air system. Let's discuss engine bleed air. Normally, engines are the primary source of bleed air. There are two sources of engine bleed air, intermediate pressure, IP bleed, and high pressure, HP bleed. Both sources are from the engine compressor section. During normal conditions, IP bleed is used to pressurize the bleed air duct. If IP bleed is not sufficient to meet bleed air requirements, such as during low thrust settings, HP bleed is used. A check valve in the IP bleed supply duct prevents backflow of air into the engine compressor section when the HP bleed valve is open. The pressure regulating valve, or PRV, regulates pressure. The pre-cooler uses engine fan air to cool the bleed air, reducing temperatures in the bleed air system. The engine bleed valve is used to regulate and shut off engine bleed air. The engine bleed air valve also prevents backflow to the engine. With the engine bleed air switch on, the engine supplies bleed air to the bleed air system. Pushing the engine bleed air switch off closes the engine bleed air valve, the PRV, and the HP bleed valve. The off light illuminates when the engine bleed valve is closed. Engine bleed air is used for nacelle anti-ice and thrust reverser operation. Bleed for nacelle anti-ice and thrust reverser operation is obtained downstream of the pre-cooler. The engine bleed switch off, operation of nacelle anti-ice remains available and the PRV will open if the HP bleed valve is closed. 
CRV will not open to allow nacelle anti-ice operation if commanded closed by an over-temperature or if the start valve is not closed. With the engine bleed switch off, operation of the thrust reverser remains available. The PRV and HP bleed valves will open as necessary to permit thrust reverser operation unless they have been closed by an over temperature or if the start valve is not closed. The ICAS advisory message bleed off is displayed. When an engine bleed valve is closed, the respective engine is running and the respective engine bleed air switch is off. The off light also illuminates. Question. Answer B is correct. Now let's discuss the bleed air ducts. The ducting connects air sources to the airplane systems. Two isolation valves, left and right, are located in the duct. Left and right duct pressure is displayed on ICAS and the ECS synoptic. We will now discuss non-normal operation. Pushing a left or right isolation valve switch off closes the respective isolation valve. With the left isolation valve closed, pack one, the left wing leading edge flaps, the left wing thermal anti-ice duct, and the air driven demand pump for hydraulic system one are isolated from the rest of the duct system. With the right isolation valve closed, pack three, the right wing leading edge flaps, the right wing thermal anti-ice duct, and the air-driven demand pump for hydraulic system 4 are isolated from the rest of the duct system. With both the left and the right isolation valves closed, pack 2, trim air, aft cargo heat, hydraulic reservoir and potable water pressurization, and airflow for cargo smoke detection are isolated from the engine bleed air sources. In this condition, these systems cannot operate. The ICAS advisory message bleed isolation is displayed when there is a disagreement between the isolation valve switch and valve position. The respective valve light also illuminates. ICAS advisory message bleed isolation APU is displayed when there is a disagreement between the isolation switch and commanded valve position. The valve light also illuminates. ICAS caution message bleed duct leak is displayed when a bleed air leak is detected in the respective bleed air duct. If a duct pressure falls to 11 PSI or less, the ECS information appears on primary ICAS with the low duct pressure displayed in amber. The ICAS advisory message bleed is displayed when the PRV or HP bleed valve fails to close when commanded or when overpressure is detected. The system fault light 
also illuminates. The ICAS advisory message bleed is also displayed when the PRV or HP bleed valve fails to close when the engine bleed air switch is off. The system fault light also illuminates. The ICAS advisory message, bleed HP engine, is displayed when the high pressure bleed valve fails closed. The ICAS advisory message, bleed overheat slant PRV, is displayed when a PRV and a high pressure bleed valve are commanded closed due to bleed air overheat. The system fault light also illuminates. The ICAS advisory message, bleed overheat slant PRV, is also displayed when the PRV valve fails closed. The system fault light is not illuminated.